It's the mat work. Right? You're, we're, what's really powerful about YouTube that you don't get off of Instagram and TikTok and all these other apps is SEO, right? So people yeah. are looking for something, they're interested in something, obviously they find that thing. You kind of tapped into that or you understand that to an extent because of what you're doing with the niches. Now, the other thing though is once people discover you, you want when people discover you not to just discover the video. The video will get hell of views, but if you don't do anything to establish your brand or your own value individually while they're there, then there's no reason for them to come back. All right, but that, that's what the interview's for. And I think the interview They're talks not going to watch these interviews, though. If I oh, came okay. in because of the power of drug, that's where my intention is. I may click to the rest of your shit, but you have to realize no matter, this is just everybody's numbers, right? You can only expect, let's just say, if I watch that video, you can only expect a very small percentage, whether it's 1%, whether it's 10%, but you can only expect a small number to even say, let me go check out the rest of this page, unless they see a lot of videos from you and, and they wouldn't really even know that and recognize that heavily unless you establish brand outside of just showing the clips. So this is why you have to speak during it. This music stuff, nobody cares right now right mm -hmm. like yeah you i agree you're telling me the stuff. meaning behind the song that i don't even know in the first place so that stuff work it's, it's a great series in itself but you still have to get people to care about that before you even get into the the value of this so it's good to have it here already but now we have to focus on just building either your face building the the, the awareness of the music or both at the same time but and that's how it'll trickle down. You get what I'm saying? So kind of like combine it. So kind of have like those niche videos, but still have my perspective on it too. Yes, because okay. now they see your face and they care about you for whatever reason. They they're like, oh, I like his perspective, or maybe they hate your perspective, whatever. But now when I see some stuff, eventually it gets to a point where, like, if you're successful in that, they say something happens and they want to know what you think about it. Right. There's an interview or something. They want to know what you think about it. Right. So you're building your own voice and your brand in the same way. Something might happen on in hip hop or whatever. And I might be like, like, let's say Jay-Z's NFL partnership. And I want to know what Charlemagne the God thinks about it. I want to know what Joe Budden thinks about it. I want to know what a whole bunch of random people, even though I already have heard about it. I want to hear these other people's individual perspective. And that's what you will be doing essentially from there and getting people to buy into you one way. And then, of course, you'll be adding your music in the background and all the other stuff, and you can ultimately push that way. But if you do, and it, we'll figure out how to make that cleaner over time, but just having people come in for random videos and random topics without- it, It's kind of a, it's kind of a catch-22 because they don't care about the music. So I made the video breaking down the music and, and telling more about myself to try to build that brand, to give some brand recognition, to, to kind of make them care. But then how do I make them care enough to see the video to then care about the music? You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I made the video to basically push the music. You know, that's why the, each, each video is about a different song. Yeah. So they got to care about you, bro. Like, it's just that simple. Right? They, they, like, either they hear the music first and you push the music and you lead with that. And then they care. And then because they care about the music, they watch these videos about the music. Or... They care about you, and then they start to care about the music because of that, and these videos make sense. Okay, because that my first video that I did, well, not first video, but the first series I dropped was Cornerstone Conversation, and that's breaking down, like, who I am. So should I just be doing ads on that and just pushing that out and pushing that and trying to educate people who I am? Would you, was, is that what you would suggest to how to kind of kickstart this YouTube? Um... I'd have to watch all of the video. I don't, I don't have time to watch all of that video right now. But my instinct is no. Um, you still, when we get when we get very specific with it, you want people, you want to make people care to know who you are first. All right, so it's hard to just come out here and be like, "This is who I am." There's certain there's certain interview shows, right? that you don't know who the people are, 
but you're willing to find out who the people are because now they're positioned with who Adam 22, right? Or, or what breakfast club or whatever is like, huh? I respect these people's opinion or yeah. I know these people have a brand. So that's going to at least give me the chance to figure out who is this person? I want to know more about them. Why do they respect these people enough to have them on the platform? Right. Yeah. But, there has to be some initial brand recognition for the right. brand you were to click. Okay. So you're not going to have that. You have to have either a product or some other kind of interesting way to, to bring them in. Whatever. You that's, that's what I was trying to do with the niche videos because I was like, okay, this is what you like. You like politics. And then I just put my music behind it. Oh, you like nature? Let me get this video of this leopard attacking this animal and put my music behind it. That's what I was trying to do with it. All right. So hear me out, man. In. That can work. Yeah. But you have to understand how it works, right? I, I come in, I'm searching for some shit. Here's the video. Oh, snap. Here's the video. But I'm only curious about Bernie Sanders because I'm, that's why I'm clicking on his video. However, while I'm there, I might show the intro at that time. I'm not thinking about it, but I'm hearing it over time. It just becomes something that clicks. But if I catch, if you stop and I catch you, now I'm like, okay. Okay, I see. I see. I see. This guy has something to say. I wonder what else he has to say on these types of things that I'm interested in. Even without you being in the video, to at least have a consistent branding of I do these type of videos and there's like the consistent graphics and things like that help to know that, oh, this is a channel that likes to share this type of content. The problem uh, is though, okay. if you're just sharing content that's already out there, okay, it's not going to like without you adding any extra perspective, it's not going to do anything for you because you're never really going to get the views. Like you're not going to get more, more views on a Joe Rogan video than Joe Rogan does for the most part. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, the, the chances are they've already seen it in that other platform. So the value is, oh, Joe Rogan just did a video, video interview with Bernie. Oh man, I'm pretty sure Conundrum has seen that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to see what he has to say about it. Okay, okay. Make it more cohesive, like together. Yeah. It has to be in right quick. together. Go okay. ahead. Um, have you ever thought about like making uh, like a reaction video to any of those videos? Because those are really hot right now with the 2020 election coming up. Like people yeah. want to hear other people's perspectives about like the Joe Rogan, Bernie Sanders interview or like whatever you know, especially Democratic candidates right now. Have you ever and thought you about like, like doing a, uh, like a commentary to one of those? And then, I, you know. I had to do until now. And then when Brandman was saying about uh, inserting mine, what I was thinking is I, I could kind of do the niche video how I have it and then kind of splice, splice my reaction into it. Mm. That's what I was kind of thinking, but yeah, that's a great idea. I should maybe, I should maybe do. That. What do you think, Sean? What, what do you think would be the best way to approach approach this? Um, I didn't think about. Essentially, we're talk, me and Rashad are talking about the same thing. I didn't think about the branding it as a reaction video. That's okay. something you can play around with and just see what the results are. Okay, that makes I mean, sense. like, so like, what if like um at some point like let's say Joe asks a question about like X or whatever. And like your song is like, it's sort of like an answer to that question. What if you like stop like uh, the video, but the clip at that point, and then just like input your whole, mu you sing your music or whatever, or maybe you can have like, you could put like maybe your video in between that video or something like that. Maybe. Well, I, yeah. I think it might be, I think it might be simpler if you're doing reactions and commentary, like, yeah. because you know, you like, ideally you have an opinion that's valid and that can give other people like, important insight just make your music the intro and the outro yeah like and, mm -hmm. and and then do your commentary okay. and that way you get the best of both worlds the first thing they hit is your music and if they vibe with your music your link is in the is in the description and then if you'll see by the watch times on youtube whether they like value your your, your commentary and your reactions and just keep working on that and i think that like i'm looking dope. at your channel your face should be on every on every like have you ever seen sean c like he's a re he's a reactor to like music to like albums yep. yeah, yeah so like his 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 he puts his face on every thumbnail but it's not as uh crowded with words like if you get like a like you reacting to a picture or like or whatever the topic is you can do that 
And then if you want just pure discussion videos where it's not a reaction or a commentary, then maybe you just have the title, you know? But yeah, exactly. If you look at at, at Sean C's, um, like his thumbnail branding is hype. Yep. But so it's all about I, I, the emotion. Commentary, but on, like you were saying, commentary on things that people don't really care about my music right now. So if I can give commentary on things people care about and mix my music in, that would probably be the best way. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that okay. that might be also a false assumption. Like people don't care about your music, of course, because they haven't heard it. So like, you know, yeah, you don't want to devalue your, your music. Like if eventually you're trying to push your music, you can't just be like, oh, nobody's going to care about it. So I have to mix it with content. You can be like, I have this content that I like and people will fuck with the music. So let me put the music at the beginning. Exactly. Like that. That's, okay, thank that's the point of things, man. Yeah. People don't care because they don't know. You just have to figure out a way for them to get them in front of some, uh, interrupt and if, them and if, right in a place that they're already looking. Okay. And if they, if they do hear it and they don't care, then you, okay, go back to the studio, you know, rewrite, figure out ways to make it more interesting. No, I, I don't think it's like, it's a quality aspect. It's just marketing. Cause I've been doing it for so long oh. and like, I'll, I'll have success with one part and then I'll get, I'll get shadow banned or I'll have success, success with this platform and then I'll stop working. So it's just, I'm trying to build up like YouTube seems like a consistent stream because yeah. of this descriptions and things like that like it'd be a more like uh a more stable base of fans that i can build out there got you um i think mm-hmm. what um gotham said is something when you, you mentioned sean c that's just the perfect person for you to mimic in your own way because he does a combination of commentary and reaction if you're looking right here like on the screen so you can okay. use that figure that out and, and kind of mesh what what he does and play with that. But that was why at the very beginning, we talk about devaluing your music or even devaluing yourself is that's why I said, like, do you even have anything to say in that? And do you want that to be a part of your voice overall? That's for you to think about. But, and if you want that to be a part of yours, cause your music does have that kind of thing, that's perfect. But don't just get caught up in like, cause you had music, like deep politics and then sports. Like, you don't need to be doing all of those niches. Like find the one that makes sense for you and build that brand equity in that space and then add your music as a part of that and, and then let your music be the extra thing where at some point you, you just push on top of that platform you build. Okay, what about if I still hit the other niches but I only pushed one on my main where I had a different, like a nature account that I pushed my music behind those videos an athletic account i pushed my music behind those videos but if then- you got the time you can do that but m- most likely it's just a poor use of resources at the beginning okay because w- what we're trying to because i have a business partner what we're what we run into is that making our own like filming me takes a lot of time but if we can take clips that are already out there that people are already into and throw the music behind it or, or make it relevant to us. That's what, that's what we're basically trying to do to save time, to save resources, take clips that are already out there, mix it with our content and then push it to, to an, through a niche account to that niche demographic. Well, be careful about copyright. That's the big thing. Yeah. Like that, that can easily happen on those type of pages. So sure. you can do it on a separate account. You can give that a try and y'all can experiment with it. But at the end of the day, Go with what works and like don't get too caught up in trying to do all of these hacks at once. Just do one simple one, get damn good at it, and then you'll be able to reap the benefits into pushing it into something else. But trying to tackle all these niches and do all these hacks and masterminding it is, is not the way to go. Um, you'll never be able to see the, the, the true benefit.